You're watching Loudmouths. Welcome to the Loudmouths. Great debate. Jonah Schwartz along with Gary Apple. And Gary, David writes some interesting comments about Matt Harvey recently. Said he doesn't think he would have gotten to the 2015 World Series if not for Harvey's contributions. When you look back on it, do you think Harvey's actually underappreciated for his time with the Mets? Uh, listen, first of all, uh, Jonas, good to see you. And I do agree in many ways with David Wright. The Mets might not have gotten to the World Series without Matt Harvey pushing through the innings limit that was so uh, much discussed back in 2015. But no, I, I certainly don't think that uh, Matt Harvey was underappreciated by Mets fans because when you look back, Jonas, at the body of work, he was a, a phenom back in 2013. He started the All-Star game at City Field. You know, uh, Harvey Day, the Dark Knight, it became a big deal. And then he was terrific after coming back from Tommy John surgery in 2015. But the bottom line is, when you go back and look at the numbers, those were the highlights. He's got a losing record in a Mets uniform. And so, for me, he was not underappreciated. You know, Gary, I agree with you. In the end, to me here, I think the appreciation level was just right. When he was dominant, he was a rock star. Yes. When he fell off, he was, you know, he was booed. That's how it works. And you know what? As everything with Matt Harvey, the numbers don't exactly sum it up. Even when he was dominant, there was more that could be frustrating. Remember, David Wright was as frustrated as anybody, Gary, with the fact that the innings limits became an issue when Harvey was asked to start the season a little bit later and then argued to start the season earlier in 2015, which actually pushed him towards that innings limit quicker. And then right. remember when he missed that workout or was late to that workout in the midst of the playoff run? David Wright was as frustrated as anybody, Gary. Yeah, there was too much drama surrounding Matt Harvey. And when you look again back at the numbers, and baseball is such a numbers-driven game, he has, over the course of his career, won. One complete game over the course of his career. And you're right, Jonas, the off-the-field stuff, not showing up, having to send team personnel to his apartment to check on him, and then refusing the DFA. The numbers say he was appreciated for when he pitched well, as you say. But overall, he was not, in my eyes, underappreciated and it's a cautionary tale some guys can handle the bright lights of new york city and and keep the focus on the field he dealt with too much stuff off the field which i think in many ways derailed what could have been and the injuries happened they happened to everybody but derailed what could have been a tremendous career no doubt and you mentioned the injuries i almost think that's why david wright's being sympathetic here as obviously he went yeah. through his own injury situation as well gary great to see you good stuff that'll do it for the loud mouse great debate